dear students welcome to my channel pm biology in this video lecture we are going to talk about rh blood group system and rh incompatibility if you haven't watched previous videos on abo blood group system please uh, watch them the link of that video is given in the description otherwise you can also click on i button which will appear on the top so this is uh, about rh blood group system that we are going to talk about today so uh, previously we have seen what is abo blood group system that is uh, based on the uh, type of antigen present on the rbc surfaces in the same way one more uh, antigen is present on the rbc rbcs of human beings so the rh blood group system is the most polymorphic and immunogenic uh, known in humans it is the most complex with more than 45 antigens even if uh, for more than 45 antigens are present uh, among them there are six major antigens which are located on the surface of R rbc it was discovered in 1940 in rhesus monkey the rh antigens were discovered in rhesus monkey in 1940 rh gene is actually located on the short arm of chromosome number 1 and as i told you there are six major antigens which are located on the surface of rbc now from those c capital c capital d capital e and small c small d and small e are the uh, antigens which are present on the rbc surface these are the major six uh, antigens so in this uh, six antigens there are there is one most prevalent that is d antigen which is present and which is also one of the most anti immunogenic also then uh, persons who has who is having d antigen on the rbc they are called rh positive and in case if it is absent then those uh, that blood group is rh negative now this is rh incompatibility and the disease is called as erythroblastosis fetalis if rh mother who is carrying rh positive fetus due to placental barrier the blood doesn't mix however during delivery some rh positive uh, antigens from fetus reaches mother's blood so the mother will start producing antibodies against rh positive antigens during consecutive pregnancies this may cause destruction of rbcs in the fetus causing hemolytic anemia and this disease is called as erythroblastosis fetalis so after each pregnancy the mother will receive anti rhd uh, that is anti rhd anti bodies to prevalent at this incompatibility <coughs> so in this diagram uh, we can see that in the first pregnancy mother who is having rh positive or rh negative <coughs> blood group and if the fetus who is which is developing inside the mother's womb is having rh positive blood group so in this case the incompatibility occurs incompatibility means the mismatch of the blood group and that is just because the mother is having d is not having that antigen on the surface d antigen is absent on the rbc whereas fetal blood is having d antigen on its rbc so this is the case of erythroblastosis fetalis or uh, rh incompatibility so here the mother is now sensitized to rh d antigen now what happens in the next pregnancy in the first pregnancy the mother's blood and a uh, fetal blood is completely separate because of the placental barrier but at the time of delivery that uh, placenta is cut or it is destructed and also there is um, uh, the uh, cutting of the uh, umbilical cord and because of that the mother's blood 
mi get mixed with the fetal blood and therefore little bit problem may occur uh, in the first pregnancy but it is not that much fetal but uh, this is not the case in next pregnancy what happens in the next pregnancy is the rh positive fetus if the second pregnancy is also uh, the same that is rh positive fetus is developing and mother is obviously rh negative so here because of the mixing of mothers and fetal blood during the first delivery the mother gets sensitized and she started developing antibodies in her body in in her blood and therefore the repeat encounter of fetal rhd antigen occurs and finally the rapid production of igg these are the antibodies which are uh, produced and uh, this is a very rapid production of igg antibodies in the mother and which results into the igg anti d attaches to fetal rbc these antibodies starts attaching with the fetal rbcs and they mark them for destruction so they start destroying the blood or rbc of this uh, newborn and if it is mild one then it may result into the mild anemia or jaundice and if this hemolytic uh, problem is more severe then it will result into the increased bilirubin or sometimes central nervous system damage or death also so in this way there is incompatibility of rh uh, d antigen or rh uh, factor results into the uh, severe problem that is called as erythroblastosis fetalis i hope you understand this topic well if you like this video please share uh, and subscribe the channel and thanks for watching